Welcome to another daily vlog. I'm actually vlogging on my friend's camera today, so please excuse if there's any unfocused moments or the brightness is too high or low. I haven't really made a lot of videos about my wedding planning process, so today I thought I would bring you along because I have quite a lot of wedding related things to do. So I thought I would talk through and show you guys some things that I'm doing to organize my wedding, which is two and a half months away. It's also my hen's night this weekend. <laughs> oh my God. So today I wanna to go over all my outfits and start packing my bags. I'm also getting my brows tinted. So quite a busy day and I'm excited to bring you along. Starting the day out with breakfast, I've got my coffee, of course, and then I've got toast. I made up like a ham and beans tomato kind of dish. <laughs> so I've got that on my toast with two fried eggs and a lot of parsley. While I eat my breakfast, I'm going to do up my meal plan for the week and then I will show you what I'm going to be cooking. Okay, so here is the meal plan. For breakfast for the next three days at work, I'm just going to have overnight oats. And then for lunch, I've got some falafels in the freezer. So I'll pull them out and just have them with a simple cucumber and spinach salad. I think I also have some avocado in the fridge. So I'll just chuck in whatever I've got. And then Wednesday, I do an all day shift at work. So I'll just have some food from work on that day. For dinner tonight, we're gonna have a four bean salad. We'll have that with some chicken breast and some rice. Um, I'm actually gonna swap these two days around. Tuesday, hopefully I can get into a gym class that I wanted to do. I bloody missed out in booking it. So I'm waiting for someone to cancel and then I can quickly snag the class. And so I don't usually get home from that class until like eight o'clock. So I'm gonna have stir fry that night and I'll prep everything in the fridge. So when I get home, I just have to cook it. And then Wednesday night, we'll have the lasagna because I can pre-cook that. And then when I get home from my big day at work, all I have to do is heat it up. Thursday night, Clinton cooks dinner and then hen's night or hen's weekend. <laughs> So right now I am just going to jump onto Spotify. I've been working on a playlist for the Hen's Night. So I want to add a few more songs to that. And then I'll get up, get ready, and we can go grocery shopping. <laughs> I've got my little list here. I'm still a little bit shy vlogging in public, but I'm getting there. Coles has this veggie section that I really like. They've got all different kinds of tofu. This one here is really good. It's like a sweet chili. I do want to try this one though for some stir fries. I think that'll be nice. And the falafels down here are really good as well as these. Um, pumpkin veggie burgers. I haven't tasted any of the meat free options. I would just rather eat meat. <laughs> but for any vegetarians out there, Coles has got your back. They've got Easter eggs on the shelf already. These Maltese ones here are my weakness. Oh my god. And just a good old classic Easter egg. <gasps> Alright, I just got back from doing the groceries. This is like the worst part unloading it all. Oh, it takes so long. Okay, okay. So. I did get quite a lot today. It come to $164, but I did have to buy a lot of pantry staples. So that brings the price up a bit. Also like some cleaning supplies. Mm -hmm. I've got a few things for the hen's night. Some Nurofen, that's going to be needed. Coke. I'm not usually a big soft drink drinker, but when I'm hungover, a nice fizzy cold Coke. Oh my God, delicious. And then I also got a Powerade. <laughs> Now 
groceries are all done, I need to start doing some wedding stuff. So this is my list. First things first, I want to add some purchases into my budget. So I've made a, what's it called on a Mac? Numbers, like an Excel kind of document. So I've made a document with everything that we've spent related to the wedding. So this is what the budget looks like. I've got the service, the cost deposit, when the deposit was paid, what the final amount is, then that due date, and then some things have two due dates. And then here I've just got notes about the service. So as I said, I've literally added everything in here. I've got like the postage for the save the dates, um, makeup trial, the MUA, my dress, hairstylist, the bridesmaids dresses, cake. So what I need to add in here from yesterday is the wedding band that I bought. So Tanika's ring. I need to add in card bot. Oh yes, that's right. Sometimes I write things down and I don't even know what I'm on about. So instead of buying like a wishing well box, for like acrylic or glass ones online, they're literally like $100 plus. Some of them are even like $300 if you want to get them personalized with your name on them. And I was like, hell no. So instead I went to Kmart, of course, and I found this glass box with like black trimming and it's beautiful for like 10 or 12 bucks. So, hmm. <laughs> winning and then I was thinking if I really wanted to I could order just like a sticker to put on the glass that says Tanika and Clinton or something so save myself a bit of cash cash there next I've got a bunch of questions for the florist so this here is my January and February to-do list and I just keep adding on to it so the florist is like everything's taken care of with her um, we've decided on flowers and what we're gonna be using to decorate and whatever but I just thought of some questions over the weekend Ooh, it just got really dark so I need to ask her about a tossing bouquet because I'm getting this big beautiful bouquet and I don't want to be throwing it into the crowd. So I'm pretty sure you can just get made up like a smaller one for tossing. Um, I need to ask her if like when she does the flowers, like if it's the day before, can she send me a photo of them? Because as I said, we have decided on the flowers, but I'd love to see the finished look beforehand. And then I found these table numbers that go into the floral arrangement on the table. They kind of like spike in there. So I want to show her a photo of that and ask her if it's okay. So I hope you can see here, they're like these round acrylic table numbers that go into the floral arrangement. Aren't they cute? So I was thinking of getting the black one with white writing and sticking it in there. I love the style of the writing. They're only $9. And then to match the theme, I found acrylic menus to sit on the table. So I'm probably only going to do one per table. And again, I think I'll do the black acrylic with white writing. And then I'll match the acrylic sign kind of theme with the gift table and I don't know, other things. <laughs> so let me take a screenshot of that and I will email her. Okay, so email florist is done. Now I need to email Sarah. So she is the venue organizer and I want to confirm some more details about the table settings. So we're doing round tables and we're going to have a floral arrangement in the middle of the table. The florist has said to me I can add on some like pillar candles as well, but with the venue hire, it comes with a styling package. So I want to confirm with Sarah if within that styling package, candles are included because I don't want to be paying the florist for candles if I'm already paying for them in the styling package. So 
So this is kind of my inspiration for the table settings. I love how we've got the gold kind of charger plate with the cream plate and then the gold cutlery there. And then as I mentioned, the napkin color, kind of something like this sitting on top like that. And then for the candles, I'm hoping we can put some candles on the table like this as well. I think they would look really pretty. Okay, so I have attached those images for Sarah with my giant ass email. <laughs> I will send that to her and I can check that off the list. Email Sarah. Okay, so the next person I need to contact is the dressmaker. So I had a friend give me some details of her dressmaker that she used for her wedding. My dress fits me really well. I'm very lucky. I did just buy it off the rack and I end up getting a thousand dollars off, which was amazing. It does need to be hemmed up though and I want to make a few minor changes. So I'm going to contact her and just see how long she needs to do that. Clinton's jacket also needs some alterations as well. Sleeves always sit really funny on him in jackets. So we need to unstitch it and then restitch it in a different position. Okay, what is next? I am still making like a big wedding video. So I've been filming bits and pieces of me organizing the wedding, but I just don't want to share it now because I don't want to spoil anything. <laughs> so I have a little bit of footage to add to that. So I need to transfer that to the computer. And then I think that's all wedding related. I do need to write up a new to-do list for March. Now that I'm ticking a lot of that off. I also have a to-do list on the computer, but it's not as detailed as the ones I write down. Okay, so I've got my new to-do list here. Starting off with a big one, I need to write my vows. So Clinton and I have gone over the style of our vows. We are keeping them secret from each other, but we did decide on how they would kind of flow so that we're on the same page. Some other things I need to do are get earrings for my bridesmaids. We need to decide on what food we're going to eat buy a guest book and pens, uh, the table numbers, any other signs or decor, start working on run sheets for the day. So I feel like that's going to be a big one with me feeling organized and obviously everyone feeling organized. I need to go back and decide on the cake. So we have booked someone in, but it was kind of just a rough, it's gonna look like this. So I need to confirm those details. I need to organize a catch up with the videographer so we can go over the plan for the day and what kind of shots we would like captured. So yeah, then waiting on the replies from the people I emailed today. And that is what March is looking like. I'm sure a hundred other things will pop up. It's really down to the fine details now. I've got all the vendors booked, but it's like, okay, how is the day going to run and making sure I've got all those tiny details in place. So yeah, that's pretty much all for wedding planning today. I need to leave in about half an hour to go get my brows done. And then when I get back, I will try on some outfits for the hens. I am so stupid. My brow appointment was at two. And when I was coming back from groceries in my head, I was like, okay, I need to leave at 1.45. It takes 40 minutes to get there. What the hell? And so it gets to 1.45 and I'm like, oh, let me put my shoes on. And I was like, hang on a minute. My appointment's in 15 minutes. What am I doing? Just sitting around? <sighs> so luckily they were able to reschedule me in for 3.30, but she said on the phone, I might still have to pay a cancellation fee because now they don't have anyone to fill the appointment that I was meant to be doing, which sucks, but so dumb, seriously. So I've set an alarm for 2.45 that says leave for your brows now so that I get there at 3.30. I, 
So stupid. So instead of going and getting my brows done right now, I think I'll start trying on my hen's outfits and start packing. Okay, so this is the dress I'm going to be wearing on the Saturday night. I'm wearing white and everyone else is wearing like white, pink and floral. I'm just trying to see what bra to wear with it. This one is obviously no good. All right, so I've got another strapless bra that's a bit more low cut, so that sits better. And then the shoes I'm wearing, I got them from Bellini and they are these baby pink mules. And then I'm not sure what we're doing on the first night, but my sister said that this dress would be appropriate. I don't know, I like this dress, but I think I'll take another option because it feels a bit more casual to me rather than dressy. So depending on what we're doing, I'll make a decision. This is the next dress. I think I'm going to wear this on the day. So this is what I will wear down there. It's nice and cute and casual. I might wear my Converse or just a pair of slides. This is my second option for a dressier outfit on the first night. So I've just got this white bodysuit and a little mini skirt. I think the pink shoes will go with this outfit as well. Or some heels down in these boxes that I could wear. Maybe these heels. And then this is just a casual outfit. I'm not sure when I'll wear it, but I'll need it. So I've got just like this oversized shirt. It just ties up in the middle with some denim shorts. As for bikinis, I've got quite a few options here. So these are my tops. This is the Kmart one. This leopard one's from Cotton On. And then everything else is from Cotton On. So these are like cheeky cut bottoms. And then I've got some high-waisted bottoms. This kind of lilac purple and this rusty orange, which I think they would look super cute with the leopard. And then I've also got a black one piece. I've got my bags here. This one is from Colette. These bags are so great. And then this one is on wheels. Amazing. Um, I've got some hats and my portable steamer. So now I need to grab some jewellery, my clutches, and then on the day, just like my hair straightener, hair products, makeup, and phone charger. Mm -hmm. All right, I just got here. I just wanted to show you a quick before of my brows. They're pretty nasty, and I'll show you when I'm done. All right, so my brows are done. I am loving the shade we went with. I feel like they look really natural, and I am quite sparse in the arches, but this is enough for no makeup days, and then when I do fill it in with a pencil, it looks really good. I'll just give you a close-up if I can figure this camera out. Whoop. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. All right, time to drive home. Hopefully there's not too much traffic going on. Okay, so I am ready to do some meal prep. I'm starting off by getting the chicken and the veggies ready for tomorrow night's stir fry. And I'm going to marinate my chicken in this sauce. So I've got some broccolini and snow peas. And then I've also got some baby corn in the fridge. That's tomorrow night's dinner done and I'll save the rest of the sauce to put on the vegetables and then we'll just cook some rice up with that. I was also going to pre-cook my lasagna but I forgot to buy mince so I'll buy mince and I'll do that tomorrow. As for dinner tonight I've got some chicken here and I'm just putting some mustard, garlic and lemon onto that one. Oh if I can open it. Oh my got this little rubber thing from Tupperware that helps you open jars. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh my god, that was a tough one. Alright, so then I'll just let that chicken marinate a bit while I put the rice on and make a salad. 
Right, so the rice, super simple. I just brought a packet. One, all you do is put some water and butter in it. For the salad, I've got two little cans of four bean mix. going to chop up a bit of parsley I'll put some salt and pepper in it olive oil and red wine vinegar all right dinner is served it looks delicious and I am starving all right well that is all for today's vlog I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give it a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions just leave them down below and I will see you next week bye